Late but hopefully not too late. This is what HP hopes for with their Pavilion Gaming 15. It is an entry point for budget gaming, and users are not that pretentious in this category. However, the competition is fierce, and we don't know if the choice for 35 watts Tiger Lake CPUs will play in the hands of the manufacturer. Nevertheless, let's start with the good old design. It seems like HP is reusing a body from 2019. This wouldn't have been bad if they improved its rigidity. The plastic material is soft and results in a lot of flex when twisted. Size-wise, the laptop sits right in the middle with a profile of 23mm and a weight of 2.2 kilos. On the bright side, the keyboard is pretty good, has a green backlight, and features a number pad. Thankfully, the port selection is the first real win of the Pavilion Gaming 15. There are three USB type S, one USB type C with DisplayPort output, and a LAN port. Furthermore, you get an audio jack, an HDMI 2.0 connector, and an SD card reader. Here, the upgrade options include two SODOM slots for memory expansion, as well as an M.2 slot for PCIe X4 SSDs. It's a pleasant surprise to see a 2.5-inch SATA drive bay. You can take a look at our teardown video to see how to open the device. For the past couple of years, fast refresh rate displays have become the gold standard for gaming computers. But this time, in order to save some bucks, okay let's say that we've just decided to check the quality of the 60Hz panel. Surprisingly, it excelled with comfortable viewing angles, and vibrant colors courtesy of the 90% sRGB color coverage. Additionally, our gaming and web design profile really improves the color accuracy, although the average Delta E doesn't get below the standard value of 2.0. What is really unfortunate though, is that the panel uses aggressive PWM for brightness adjustment. This is where our health guard profile comes in handy, as it completely resolves the issue. Gaming devices are not known for their battery life. However, this unit manages about 8 hours of web browsing, or more than 6 hours of video playback on a single charge, which is pretty good. Only 2 per 100 people watching this video are subscribers. If you decide to just start following us, we'll be able to reinvest more in our laboratory thus making even more helpful videos for you. Thank you, you're awesome. The top configuration here comes with the Core i7-11370H and RTX 3050 Ti. The chances are high that you are getting this laptop to play games like PUBG. Thankfully, the 60 watts RTX 3050 provides plenty of performance, and you will be able to play with nearly 100 FPS at ultra settings and 1080p resolution. How about more demanding titles like Borderlands 3? Well, if you are willing to settle for 40 FPS gaming, then you can run it with badass settings at 1080p without issues. Don't get between me and my gun, heretic! It is great to see that the 60 watts GPU is utilized at its fullest, with the cooling barely breaking a sweat. Even the fans are not spinning to their max RPMs. Although the Pavilion Gaming 15 does a good job in games, you have to keep in mind that the 35 watts processors are not the best for gaming. The problem is mainly due to the low core count. But hey, you are not trying to bundle them with an RTX 3080, so everything should be fine. It was interesting to see that the display choice is more suitable for work than for high FPS gaming but we can't be mad about that. And the issues with PWM usage are easily fixed with our health guard profile. So all in all, the low price is somewhat justified. If you want to see the rest of the tests and more details about the device, you can check out our in-depth review. The link is in the video description below.